Hello, welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. We're going to continue talking about inductors, and as I promised, I'm going to draw a simple circuit on the board uh, and kind of give you a little practice with kind of trying to find out how to apply that very important equation that we talked about in the last section that relates the current and the voltage across uh, and through an inductor. Now, just to kind of recap again, I just can't say it enough times, it doesn't behave like a resistor. A resistor is V is equal to I times the resistance R. Right, so that means the voltage and the current in a resistor are basically aligned with one another and directly proportional to one another. It's not like that in inductors, and it's not like that in capacitors. It's always going to be proportional to the rate of change. In the case of inductors, the voltage is proportional to the rate of change of the current. The higher the voltage you, you get is going to occur when the current is changing the fastest, and it all has to do with the way the, the magnetic field is increasing and cutting across those field lines in the inductor and generating that voltage for you because of the physics that, that's involved with a changing magnetic field. All right, so let me draw a uh, incredibly simple circuit, but you know, sometimes the most instructive circuits are the, the simplest ones. So this is not, you know, a graduate level problem. The point of this problem is to teach you about what we just learned. So here is a current source with a value, a current value of I, and here's an inductance, and we're going to say this is 100 millihenries, right? MH is 100 millihenries, and because the current is going up and then down through here in the current, so it's the way we've drawn it is kind of flowing down, then what we're going to have is a voltage drop, at least in terms of drawing it on our paper, we have to assume something. So we're going to assume because the current is going down, the passive sign convention says we should have a voltage drop just like we do across resistors. Now we know that this voltage drop, I've cautioned you before, it may not actually drop that direction, it, depending on if the current is increasing or decreasing, because that changes the direction of the voltage according to the equation we, we just learned about. But anyway, we have to assume something, so we put it there like that. Now let's further say, uh, for this problem, that for t less than zero, right, what we're going to assume is that i is equal to zero. So there's no current. So the, the current source is switched off when, you, when, when we're looking at time less than zero. But at time greater than zero, we're going to assume that the current in that source is not a constant. It's 10 times t times e to the negative 5t. Right? So when we turn the current source on, it's not a constant. Right? It's 10 times t times e to the minus 5t. Yes, this is a crazy current. Get used to it. When we're talking about these basic inductor and capacitor problems later, you're going to see some crazy currents that don't make a lot of sense. The reason is because if I give you constant currents all the time, then the circuits are boring. I already told you, if no current uh, is changing, then there's no voltage drop across that inductor. So if I give you crazy simple circuits, then you're not going to learn anything. So in your book, in your class, you're going to have a period of time when we're talking about uh, these circuits that have these crazy looking currents, and that's to show you how does a circuit behave when, when I change the current according to this crazy fashion. All right, so uh, part A, right, that we're going to do, we'll want to sketch the current. Now the current is given to us. We are told that no matter what, from t greater than zero, the current is, uh, obeys this, right? So we already know enough without doing any real math to sketch the current. So this is time, and this is I of t, all right? So what you're going to find, if you were to get a computer out and plot this thing, is the current 